Moving on to other stories now, harvest season is around the corner. Chili peppers have always been a popular crop in South Korea, but with abnormal climate conditions, anthrax nail spores have been a growing concern for farmers. In response, chili peppers resistant to the disease have been developed. Yoon Jin gets us better acquainted with this new breed. These chili peppers are ripening in time for the harvest season just ahead. But a lot of the peppers have fallen to the ground, and even those attached to the branches are rotten. The sickened peppers have been infected with anthracnose. When it rains as much as it recently has, then anthracnose hits sooner and faster. We can't harvest the peppers. Anthracnose is caused by a spore-forming bacterium that mainly occurs in hot and humid climates. It damages various crops, including chili peppers. Roughly 20 to 30 percent of chili pepper production in South Korea is affected by the disease annually, causing farmers around 75 million U.S. dollars a year in damages. That's why the Rural Development Administration set out to develop a world's first anthracnose-resistant pepper breed back in 2012, and in a joint effort with private institutions, has since successfully produced some 100 varieties. Roughly 30 percent of the total nationwide farming area for peppers is now growing an anthracnose-resistant pepper breed. Studies show that these peppers reduce the cost of pesticide by more than 50 percent, while increasing harvesting yields by over 30 percent. Only using roughly half of the usual amount of pesticide, it's helped cut my expenses, and the quality of the peppers have improved, so I've been able to sell at a better price. We support institutions and companies that want to breed these disease-resistant peppers so that we can make further developments faster. Climate change has brought more frequent abnormal weather, which is increasing the spread of various diseases, and anthracnose in crops has been no exception. Research needs to be strengthened to fight the spread of such diseases. Ian Jin, Arirang News.